All right, guys, Friday the 12th of February, I believe, and it's time to try and get the chassis out of the trailer and into the garage. It is extremely cold out. It's about minus 15 degrees Celsius at the moment. So got the truck started, at least the truck started, and we're going to attempt to move it with my uh, two-wheel drive truck just far enough forward so I can drop the tailgate and get the chassis out. Not sure whether I'm going to be able to do this by myself or not and whether the truck's going to be up to it since the driveway is fairly snowy and icy. I don't get much uh, traction with that two-wheel drive and uh, that trailer is fairly heavy. So we'll see what happens. I just want to try to move it forward a little bit and hopefully we won't get stuck or otherwise I'm going to have to wait for Les uh, to come over with his four-wheel drive and give me a hand. But uh, I really need to get the chassis inside to get it warmed up to begin with. And uh, then I need to do that paint touch-up uh, project, and I need to do the tap project before we get the uh, attempt to get the body on tomorrow. That's the uh, timeline anyway. So if we can, see, we'll see if we can get this done today in order to uh, be able to get ready to get the body tub on tomorrow. So it's going to uh, entail me moving some things around in the garage to be able to even get the chassis in here. So we're going to do that first, a little bit of a cleaning and organizing, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put a few things back in the trailer once we get the chassis out. But in the meantime, we need to move it somewhere until we, uh, so we can make some space to get the chassis in. So, double-edged sword. All right, gonna crack that garage door open. I'm not looking forward right, to it. I gotta pull those out so I can get the garage door to go up on its track. So uh, we'll cut those zip ties and bring those lights down and put them away temporarily. And uh, we'll put them up when we need them. All right, let's try this again. Take two. There's a tongue lock. That'll be a challenge. Oh, okay. Probably helps we have these off. What, a week and a half ago? A week ago? Alright, let me see if I can move this trailer. slowly at the winch hooked up at the back so we'll move it forward slowly hopefully the hood and the windscreen don't fall down
so we got some room to move out here and we got some room to move the body tomorrow swept the floor so the uh, engine hoist can roll freely around the garage it's nothing like having a zip tie or a washer or something on the floor to stop it from rolling so that's done so let's take a look at the list here so we've got um, wheel well cut and buff that is now crossed off the list uh, paint touch up is still to be done the tapping the chassis I've got the uh, tap and die kit out now We're just about to do that the frame pockets are now complete so these two items left on the list so we're going to go ahead and do the uh, tapping of all of the uh, frame uh, mounting locations so uh, I just checked I thought I might have had a broken bolt in the center t-shirt section but I don't which is good so we're just going to go through each location tap those out make them nice and clean for uh, tomorrow and uh, then we'll move on to just touching up a few you know, pieces on the chassis like right there needs a little bit of a touch up but uh, nothing too crazy just really really quick it's uh, 60 something degrees 62 degrees in here so uh, just waiting for this frame to come up a little bit in temperature before we do the touch up so uh, yeah, we're making progress, getting ready for tomorrow. All right, we'll cross another one off the list. That's now complete. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, break open the uh, body mounting kit, and I'm going to get the pads ready, and I'm going to get the studs screwed in at the front for the body mounts. There's the old stud. So we'll get those screwed in, and we'll just sort of uh, situate everything where it needs to be. I'm not going to put it in the chassis, but I am going to get the number of pads uh, counted out and uh, ready to go for each location, uh, as well as the spacers, washers, etc. So I know exactly what to grab, when to grab. Um, so we'll be set up for tomorrow. And just a quick note, when I was doing all my uh, panel fitting before, I had three shims in to set the panel gap. So we're going to be returning with three shims, but uh, obviously new shims. Just wanted to point that out to make sure that uh, when you do your body work on the frame, that you're using the actual shims when you do your body work. Otherwise, your body lines or your gaps are not going to line up when you put your new shims back in. All right, if you ever wondered what it takes to actually screw the body down to the uh, chassis, there it is on full display. That's it. To get a body on and off, there's all the fasteners from the rear all the way to the front. And uh, these pads actually get glued to the frame rails on top in certain locations, so we'll have to do that later tonight as well. This is all laid out ready to go for tomorrow, so uh, yeah. Happy with that, got all the hardware ready to go, looks good, and uh, we'll go from there. So, a uh, little bit of painting to do, and um, I think we're going to be calling it good for tonight. So, probably have a quick break for dinner, and then we'll get out here and do a little, little cleaning and a little painting, and that'll be it. Alright guys, Friday night about uh, 8 p.m., and it's definitely a cold one outside. It's about minus 24 Celsius with the wind chill tonight, so... Uh, yeah, at least the garage is nice and uh, cozy. Um, just getting ready to do some painting. We got the uh, trim clad semi gloss black, and we're just going to brush this. So we're going to uh, scratch down the areas we want to repaint with a uh, probably a maroon Scotch Brite, and uh, then we're just going to fix up those few areas. If one here on this side, one down here on this side. You can probably see where I had uh, the frame suspended slightly above. Uh, I think the uh, sawhorses and uh, I've got a little area that you can actually see a line of, a, of the block that I suspended the frame on. So uh, a little bit under here at the t-shirt section and then just a little back here on the rear frame rail where I've got uh, a couple spots peeking through. So not a lot of painting to do so uh, we'll scrub it up, wipe it down with uh, grease and wax remover and then we'll just hit it with a quick coat of that uh, trim clad. Alright, frame is painted in the required areas that needed touching up and the next steps are now to apply these little uh, rubber uh, packing pieces that go on, on top of the frame in these areas where I've got them or close to the areas where I've got them lined out. So we're going to have to um, apply some adhesive to these and stick these down. So we're probably going to do that tonight before we go in for the night. So uh, I've just cleaned off the rubber strips of the, um, uh, I guess it's the um, mold material. So it's kind of like a, like a little bit of a dust on it. So I've just wiped that down so as not to interfere with the adhesive. I'm just going to wipe the frame down underneath of it and then we'll apply that adhesive to both sides of the rubber and the frame and we'll let it sit for a couple minutes and then we'll stick them together and hopefully they stick. Alright, just coming up to about 9 p.m. we've got the rear rubber pads glued on. 
Uh, we're going to wait to do this side pads because it actually um, comes up to the point where I painted. So I think it's probably a good idea to let that paint cure overnight before I try to lay some glue on it because I don't think that's going to work too well. So we'll glue the rest of the pads down tomorrow morning before we uh, attempt to put the body on. One of the other things I want to do uh, tomorrow is probably drop these rubber buffers down one so they don't interfere with the, uh, the trunk area. I'm not sure if they have enough clearance or not. Uh, I was going to actually just shave them off flat if required, but I don't want to have to do that. Or Actually, I might need to drop it down anyway, so I'll need that top mount location so I can't shave them off until I know the exact height of that needs to be. Alright, so I guess that's it for tonight. We'll uh, get back out here early tomorrow and uh, we'll try to get the body on. I think I've got a uh, couple guests coming tomorrow, at least one guest coming tomorrow, so uh, we'll confirm that uh, once we go in and get on Messenger and uh, we'll see if we have a bit of a team effort tomorrow. Alright, see you tomorrow night, or see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Bye-bye. Alright, Saturday morning, the 13th of February, 2021. And back in the garage, big day today, a big exciting day. Going to get the uh, body back on the chassis. First thing I need to do is to uh, glue these rubber strips on after letting that paint dry overnight. So we'll get to work and uh, get these strips glued on and then we'll move on to the next step. Definitely want to move that light. I don't know if you remember what happened the last time I uh, was moving the body with that light up there but it's not going to be staying up there, that's for sure. All right, just past 10 a.m. and our special guest has arrived. Good morning, Alin. I'm here for my haircut. <laughs> yes, I've got my angle grinder ready for his haircut and his beard trim. So we'll do that after we get the, uh, the body on the chassis. That's payment. That and maybe a beer. Or maybe I should give you the beer first before I cut your hair. Too early. <laughs> okay. Um, so I did get the strips on the frame. I did actually detach the exhaust from the rear here and just let it sort of hang down a little bit lower just in case there's a little bit of interference uh, with that rear uh, spare tire pan. Other than that, we moved the uh, chassis over a tiny little bit. Uh, so I've got the ropes hooked up. We've just removed the transmission tunnel. So uh, we figured that we're going to try to bring the buck out because we're going to need to move the buck outside to make some room when we push the engine hoist over. So we're going to try to get that out the side door without having to open the garage door and lose all the heat in here. So I can't really think of uh, anything else that we're missing. I took the light down, as mentioned, just in case that uh, fell on the car again. We didn't want that to happen. I do have the body mount kit sitting here, as I mentioned yesterday, all lined up ready to go. So that's ready to go. So uh, I think we should just go ahead and do it. What do you think? Yeah. Let's go. All right. We'll get the uh, shock crane hooked up. And... Uh, I'll take you along. I've got a camera set up in the corner over here, so we'll uh, hopefully get a little bit of video. Be on your best behavior <laughs> now that you have a camera on you, 100% of the time. I don't know how to do that. Okay. I might have to do a little bit of editing. All right, so uh, we'll shut you off for a second. We'll get the crane hooked up, and then we'll hook you back up. All right. Hang on. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. 
get out here. You want to come forward a little bit? Good. Okay. You know? Up. So we got to watch the um, accelerator shaft. Accelerator shaft? Yeah, so I'm going to hook it on the engine. Okay, come, come over forward. Are you going to go up? Okay, whoa, whoa, stop the garage. Um, oh. So you're gonna have to come under that. So let her okay. down a little touch. Careful, it's very touchy. You want me to do it? No. A yeah, bit more, I think. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. Okay, good. Okay, you're about uh, six inches over and then up. Okay, up. Now, I think I need to pull the chassis forward. So let me pull that forward a little bit. Okay. Grab the body. Yep. Okay. All right, come in. Hopefully that'll clear the uh, frame. Back there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Keep coming. Hopefully that'll clear the uh, frame. Yeah. Okay, the back there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Keep coming. Okay, so now it's let's start going that way. Yeah, so let's go down slowly. Yeah. Then have to go back. Okay. Go. Go. You know what? Let me put the. Uh, 
break the table. Yep. No, I'm going to put the grommets in afterwards. You're keeping them crossed, right? No. Yeah, they need to be crossed. body's going to have to come forward a bit. Forward? Yeah, because I'm uh, looking at the body. Well, put her down a little bit closer and I'll let you know. Stop there. Can you pull it back towards you a little bit? Okay. Good. Okay. Can you come forward a touch towards me? Forward. Yeah, just about uh, a couple inches. So you know, I have one um, line here that I'm probably going to have to tuck in. So I'll just keep coming down, I'll let you know when I'm going to hit it. Did you see this line coming from the bottom of the chassis? Probably turn that. I wonder if we can turn that valve this way, but by hand. I don't know if it's tight yet. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, memory card is full on the other camera, of course. So the body is down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift it up a touch and we're going to try to slide the pads under where they need to go. Or we'll pick it back up slightly just to get the, uh, the pads under. I uh, think so it looks pretty good. Good to see it back on the uh, back on the chassis after I don't know how many years now. T plus <laughs> 300. I don't well, know. If it's 300 only, it would be great. <laughs> <laughs> don't be don't be cheeky. All right, so uh, we're gonna do that. We'll put the pads on now, and then we'll come back in a little bit.
Yeah, actually, I'm going to go back with three pads because I actually did all the body work with three pads on. So, we've got three, three. So, we're going to have to crank it back up. period of time the chassis and the body tub are reunited uh, all the fasteners are in place they are not tightened down but uh, we have all the appropriate uh, shims and pads in place as well as the fasteners so that is looking very very good we will uh, probably not tighten them down fully until we uh, start putting uh, panels back on the car because obviously we're going to have to adjust gaps and make sure that our shims are uh, appropriate um, as mentioned I've actually gone back with the shims that I used to adjust just the panels initially but who knows things might have changed slightly so I won't uh, tighten those down until we know what the body gaps look like so happy happy uh, one of the other good things about being able to uh, or being getting the chassis in the uh, the body tub mount is I can now push this outside the garage if need be in order to do a little bit more painting in here in the spring let's say for example I need the windscreen uh, surround painted so I'll be able to push the car out uh, cover the car up outside do my painting inside and then bring the car back in so that's a big uh, bonus in uh, my mind as well now um, I do have quite a few parts accumulated for the assembly of the engine bay the interior and the trunk so we'll put those to good use. I'm still um, I'm still missing quite a few parts that uh, I'll have to order over the next uh, few months, but uh, things should go fairly quickly from here on. I enjoy the assembly phase for the most part. All the hard work has been done. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next phase of this project, which will be uh, uh, adding all the ancillary items into. Uh, the body tub. I'm going to start by, um, I'm going to jump around a little bit, but the, the principle is to start with the engine bay and to uh, fit up what I can in the engine bay and then we'll move our way back into the uh, passenger compartment and then finally back into the trunk. Again, depending on parts on and what I have available at the time, if I'm having to wait on certain things, I might have to jump around a little bit, but I've got enough to keep me going for a little bit, so uh, Looking forward to it. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll upload what I've got. Uh, next steps, as far as the car is concerned, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, locate it back in the center of the garage. We'll put our light back up. Um, we'll get this on a slight angle so we've got uh, good access around the entire body tub. And uh, we'll probably put it up on jack stands just to get a little bit better working height. And uh, that would be good. You might notice that I have the... Uh, the old wiring harness on the ground here I was just uh, sitting and going through it with a Lynn and showing them some of the issues and we won't be using that uh, old harness we've actually got a a good used harness that we're going to have a look at and check all the continuity of the circuits um, I think we're going to be able to get by just by rewrapping that harness it's in very good condition so I don't think I'll have to buy a new harness I do actually have a new rear harness 
but I believe we'll use this harness for the front. But um, uh, still to be decided, we were just uh, having a little discussion on the side about this while Ellen was here, since he is the electrical expert in the house. I am certainly not one of those. All right, guys, that's it for now. We'll upload what we've got, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.